How to use Just with Jenkins. At some point when you've authored Jenkins pipelines, you've probably used the SH step or its cousins, BAT or PowerShell. However, sometimes there's a need to call multiple commands within those steps. That's usually when you start creating some sort of script, whether that's a shell script or batch file, so that you can keep the amount of code in that step to a minimum. But sometimes maintaining those scripts or batch files can become quite cumbersome. Another tool that you can use to create these scripts is Just. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.387.1. Attached to this controller, I have an agent that has the Just binary installed on it. There's also a sample repository for this video. The link to that repository is down in the description. Now, before we take a look at that repository, let's take a look at the documentation for Just. And you can find that at just.systems. So Just is a handy way to save and run project-specific commands. What we can see here in this example on the left-hand side is there's an alias b, which equals build. We can also see build is defined right here. This looks a lot like make or other similar types of task execution engines. So if we were to scroll down here and take a look at this, each of these items that are defined here in this just file, which we see defined right here, are what are called recipes. So there's a build recipe, a test all recipe, and a test recipe. So if we wanted to run the test all recipe, we would say just test dash all. And then it would run the test all recipe, which in this case also calls the build recipe and then runs test dash dash all. So let's go over to our sample repository. Again, the link to this repository is down in the description. For this repository, you'll look at the main branches like, okay, what's up with this? There's nothing here. That's correct. There is nothing there. For this video, we have three different branches. We have a 00, zero start here, a 01 just file, and a 02 example. So let's take a look at our start here. What we'll see in this case is we have a Jenkins file that's going to do just a verification that we have just installed on the agent that we're connected to. Secondly, if we take a look at the just file branch, we'll see the same stage again. We're doing the verification, but then we're just going to run just. Now, what does that mean? Well, if we take a look within the just file branch, and there is a file named just file. Now this just file can be named in any shape or form that it needs to be named. It can be an upper J just file. It can be all lower case just file. It doesn't really matter. It's case insensitive. In my scenario, I just went ahead and named it with the same casing as Jenkins file. So I have an upper J just file. If we take a look inside of the just file, what's going to happen, remember that we're just running just, it's just going to run the first recipe that it finds. In my case, I've just defined a default recipe, explicitly called default, doesn't really matter. And that recipe is going to run just dash dash list. Now what that command does is it's going to list out all of the recipes that are available to us. So let's now go over to our third branch, which is called example. Again, the just file is exactly the same. The changes for this are actually over in our Jenkins file. And what we're gonna be doing here is instead of just running just, what we're going to do is we're going to run specifically one of those recipes. In this case, we're just going to run the build recipe. All of these examples are really simplistic, but what it allows us to do is go ahead and see all of the different things that we can do with just, so that way when we're ready to actually use it in real life, we just need to fill in the blanks, if you will, of, in this case, the build recipe. So let's go over to our controller, and let's take a look at the job that's already been set up. We created a multi-branch job to point at this repository. So we see the start here, the just file, and the example. So let's take a look at the start here and take a look at the output, in this case, for branch three. If we take a look at the output, we can see just help and we see the version of just that we're running in this case is 113.0. Since we gave it the dash dash help argument, we see all of the options that we have to use within just. Again, going into each of these is out of scope for this video. I'm just trying to introduce how to use just within a Jenkins pipeline. Let's go ahead and go back up into the job and let's go over to the just file. Now remember that the Jenkins file for this branch just called just. So we expect to see the output for just the default. So if we scroll down, we'll see our call for just help, which is our verification. We'll scroll down below this and we can see that we call just, which calls just dash dash list, which then lists out the available recipes. Now notice that it lists out the recipes in alphabetical order, build, default, lint, and test. There is an option that we could have passed in to just list to have left them in the order that were in the just file. Now let's go back over to the final one, which is the example branch. 
If we take a look at the output of the job here, again, we see the same verification at the top. Let's go down, we call just build, and then we can see that it's going to echo out building, which in fact it does. So if we take a look at all three of these Jenkins files, the first one, we're just verifying that just is there. The next two, running just without a specific recipe, the way that we had set up that default recipe was to call just dash dash list, which gives us all the different recipes that are available to us. And then finally in this third one, where we call an explicit recipe, just build, we see the output of the build as documented in our just file within this branch. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.